Hi, good evening. I am Carla Sanders, the Cosmic Crone, and the founder of the School of Womb Wisdom. And I am here to share with you a mini workshop. Um, oh, <laughs> it's been, it's always a little breathless. I'm getting ready to leave town, so um, going to going on a retreat myself with my sisterhood and next week i am leading a retreat the upcoming abundant womb retreat uh, it is a retreat in which four other women and i and you are invited to be one of those four women uh, we are going to create a love relationship with money and I thought you might enjoy a little taste of some of the way we're going to do this embodied work. And so I'm going to be here for maybe as much as half an hour, hopefully not too much more than that. And we're going to, I'm going to share some basic teaching and then we're going to go through some imaginative play to, um, get into that, to bring it into your body and to activate your experience. So if you are ready, let's get started. Um, you're going to need a journal and a pen and you're going to be prepared to breathe. And if you're watching the replay, you can pause the video whenever you need to and take as much time as you need uh, with each part of the exercise. So let's start with some fundamentals. We are working with energy. We are shifting our energy. So drink water. Mm. And besides having water when you're doing energy work, uh, let's talk about your relationship with money. It's complicated, isn't it? It's on again, off again. It's never around when I need it. It shows up just in time and never extra. Uh, it, money can be unfaithful. Sometimes it feels like money's cheating on me. Money is demanding and high maintenance. What does it even mean to be in relationship with money? Money isn't even a person. This, this is a question I have asked myself when I find myself talking about my relationship with money. I mean, I'm, am I sure about that? Well, think about this. How much weight does money carry in your life? Every decision you make takes money into account. Um, it's, it's like anything, anything that comes into your field and asks for your attention, money enters. Does it cost anything? Is it free? Is it expensive? How much? Do I have the money? I don't have the money. Is it worth it? How do I get more of it money? Or how do I get enough of it? So we're just always, always, always thinking about money, either directly or indirectly. And there are some, some of us, sometimes, all of us at one time or another, go into that thinking about money and we resent it. It doesn't feel good. And so the solution seems to be money is the problem and we need to get rid of money. We need to create a new economy. Well, that's all well and good. Um, there are many ways to work with the economy and money. This work that I'm doing with you right now is not about changing the economic system. It is about coming into a right relationship, a peaceful and joyful and satisfying relationship with this entity called money. And there's a couple of things about that. I can remember once many years ago uh, when I was working with my Native American teacher, Grandfather Joseph, uh, very early on, 
um, I had a private session with him and I had just quit my job and I was trying to figure out what the next part of my life would be and I asked him about money. What could he teach me about money? And he said, go to the being of money and have a talk with the being of money. Money will tell you how to be with it, how to have more, how to call it in, how to connect with the spirit and the being. He, he used that language, the being of money, meaning that money has a presence. It is like so many energetic things have presence. We talk about angels and guides and ancestors, and they are energies. And so we can relate to money in the same way. What does the being of money have to teach us? What does the being of money have to teach you uniquely? Because what money might say to you might be very different to what money's going to say to me. So what that brings up then is the next thing, money is really a, a relationship with yourself. And for some people, their idea um, of money freedom is not to have to think about money. And that sounds like not being in a relationship or not wanting a relationship with money. And money, like most other entities, whether they're human, animal, or spirit, they don't put up with that kind of neglect. So if your first response to thinking about money or being in relationship with money is, I wish I didn't have to, either because the system needs to change, it's bad, or if I had plenty of money, $100,000 or a million dollars or $10 million or whatever that magic number is for you, and you're thinking, then I won't have to think about money. Well, A, that's erroneous thinking, and B, Money is like, no, I don't want to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't want to think about me. I've, I, this is a give and take. I need attention. I need appreciation. I need a job to do. I need to know that I matter to this entity, i.e. you, that money is connecting to. So what if we play with that idea? That is exactly what we're going to do today. I'm going to share Grandfather Joseph's advice for you to connect with and meet the being of money. So more water. Money. Imagine as an entity, an energy, uh, a personality and a role to play in your life. And this is key to untangling any dysfunction you feel around money. Because y'all are gonna have a chat. You're gonna to come to some sort of understanding. Maybe, it's up to you. Let's see what happens. So money is a mirror of your relationship with yourself, as we said, and it is common and even normal to project your feelings and beliefs about money, about yourself onto money. So if you feel good about yourself, you're more likely to feel good about money. And if you feel um, self-doubt or self-loathing or incompetent or like there is something wrong with you, then that's going to be reflected in your relationship with money, your experience of money, along with a lot of other things. And so what we're really doing is using money as a trigger to help 
and a mirror to help you understand what's going on inside of you, in your own life, in your own self. And all of these feelings and beliefs, because it's in your mind, it's cognitive, it's thoughts and beliefs, and it is in your body, it is in your emotional body, it is in your physical body, and it you feel, you feel your emotions through your body. And you can also feel things that don't feel good, like tension, anxiety, or um, worry. Uh, it can begin to show up as tension or pain or congestion or an inability to move freely and emotionally it can show up um, i speak i'm going to speak very simply uh, i'm going to speak about bad feelings and good feelings or things that um, feel pleasant or nice I, it, i'm using these this rather mild generic language because uh, i just i want you to simply feel is this good is this a, a feeling that I want more of? Or is this a feeling that I want less of? Uh, is this something that I want to keep or something I want to change? And so I'm going to use just simple bad and good feelings uh, for the most part. So if your relationship to money, you know, I'm, you may be right now in a cascade of awareness just because you're hearing me talk about it and you may be thinking, oh, yeah, I'm such a loser or what am I going to do about this? You're fine. You're normal. It's not unusual. And, and it's not even your fault. It's because especially for women, but for all of us, we are taught to think and feel badly about money and that's um, that's a rabbit hole in itself um, chances are we will talk more about that in the retreat but right now I just want you to be aware that you're carrying all this in your body it can show up as tension pain it can turn into an injury a stress injury or uh, an accident that, you know, something a little more cri crisis or catastrophic where all of a sudden you've got a torn tendon or a busted knee or a busted head or you've got headaches. Um, and it can choose any part of your body to express. It can come out as a skin rash or your hair falling out or gaining weight or, you know, a an injury of some kind. Um, so money is a signal, a way to understand what's going on inside of yourself. And so that's the work that we're going to go really deep on in the Abundant Womb Retreat. Create your love affair with money. How do you want your love affair to feel? You want it to be hot and exciting and happy and pleasurable and you want to feel good and secure and safe and able to just completely relax and give yourself over to the experience. You want to know that you can trust your partner in this affair. You want to show up as trustworthy and respectful and loving and attractive and compelling and enticing and maybe even a little bit mysterious, a little mystery, mystery, mystery is okay. Um, so all of these things, working with money triggers, we're going to develop some skill at sensing what our body is telling us about how we feel and what we believe. And so we're gonna focus on money, both energetically and practically, because money lives in the same place as your sexuality. For women, that is the womb. Money 
energy comes through as creative energy. Money energy is energy that allows you to create. So I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I've had 20, 25 year journey of self healing. And not too long ago, I began to notice that every time I thought about money, I got tense. My jaw would get really tight. I clenched my teeth. And sometimes I would feel it in other parts of my body, and I've definitely got a few injuries that I don't really know where they came from. And so I'm aware of, I'm thinking about money, and it didn't matter what I was thinking about. I could be thinking about a money goal, um, a sales conversation where I'm inviting someone to invest in one of my programs, or I'm balancing my checkbook, or I'm thinking about my taxes, or I'm thinking about something I want, and maybe I'm not sure if I have the money, or I need to talk to my partner about money, or I, I've got a lot of money all of a sudden, and that doesn't feel good either. That also makes me anxious and tense. What the heck? So I realized, I realized that um, money simply was showing up in my body as tension and constriction and limitation, which is the opposite of what I believe and what I teach and what I want. So I had to pay attention and what was, and, and it wasn't even that I was worried about money. I just had this unconscious reaction in my body and I recognized that it came from childhood trauma. I have done, uh, my parents thought about money a lot and I have memories of how frightening that was to me as a very small child. And there's a lot more to that story, but we don't have time for all that right now. And I think it's interesting and probably necessary that I've spent the last three years doing a ton of mindset work and a lot of it was focused on money and on expansion and healing and um, really beautiful, expressive, wonderful things about money. And what happened is a course in the course of all that work is that I peeled away a lot of layers and I'm left with this root of childhood trauma that has become attached to money. Does this ring any bells for you? I'll bet you I'm not the only one. I know for a fact I'm not. I wasn't the only one in my coaching program who had that experience either. So once I noticed this, I began to do even more work on the trauma uh, and I began to work with what I was really experiencing in my body. Relax, pleasure, create an internal space of openness and receiving, softening, and associating all of those pleasurable, <sighs> relaxing, resourceful, sensations and feelings and emotions with money. Money triggers pleasure instead of tenseness, tension. And it's an ongoing process that I've learned a lot and that some of what I've learned is what I'm going to be teaching and sharing in the retreat and we will be experiencing it together. So uh, let's do, let's meet the being of money. Are you ready for that? Um, you're going to need your journal for this part. So grab a, any piece of paper or journal and your pen. And I just want to set this up a little bit. You may have only certain situations where money makes you feel bad, or it may be that everything about money feels bad. 
Um, and that may be because like I ha I was, am, I'm activating, triggering childhood trauma when I engage with money or the being of money. But the being of money did not cause my trauma. In fact, the being of money is going to help me with it. So I invite you to just think about uh, where your money wound seems to be hooked in. Is it around cash flow or fears of not having enough? Or it may be that you have plenty, but instead of happiness, you're feeling stress, guilt, or inadequate, or like you might lose it, or there's strings attached. You know, a lot of times money that is related to our families has, has it's not clean. <laughs> there's strings attached. That That's part of what went on in my family. Love and money um, were conflated, and it got very confusing. Uh, once again, we won't go down that rabbit hole, but just realize that, oh, there are things you may not be aware of, and the invitation is, are you willing to become aware? And allow the being of money to help you become aware and to start making shifts. It is a process. We will do two days together on the retreat, if you choose to join me, and that also will be a beginning, but we will have lots of time to sink in and have experiences together that will give you a good foundation. So this experience um, you're going to use your imagination which are going, is going to generate feelings and sensations in your body. Your brain when it's imagining, i.e. visioning, it is activating all the sensory input that you choose to activate. So participate to whatever level you desire. If you're enjoying yourself, go deeper. If it feels silly, be sillier. If it feels scary or sad or awful in some way, then back out, step back and go to your journal and be curious about that. That is not a problem. That is information. So ask your higher self to tell you what's going on. And if your higher self wants to connect with the being of money, you know, as kind of a buffer, a go-between, you can ask your higher self to ask money to help you. <laughs> um, and one of the questions is, what am I willing to see about this? And for most of you, this is going to feel very good and it will be fun and I trust it will be revealing. So, ready? Let's take a moment to come into awareness of your body. I'm gonna adjust in my chair. Place your hands on your womb. That's on your belly, between your belly button and your pubic bone. And breathe gently into your belly. And when you do this, all you have to do is, once again, using your imagination, let the breath flow in through your nose and puff out your belly. And just imagine that breath dropping down and like landing on the inside of your pelvic floor. It's going all the way down into your pelvis and landing in the bowl inside of you. And so this is a very simple in and out, breathing, activating the womb space. And you may start feeling energy. I just felt it kind of zip, tickle up your back, up, or you might, you might feel it all the way up your spine. Ooh, that's the being of money saying, won't you be my lover? <laughs> yeah. So just allow your breath to help your body feel good. 
that's it's that basic and that simple so in the retreat we're going to do a lot of work with the womb it is essentially a womb healing retreat and that's because the womb is the center of your wealth energy your creative energy your sexual energy these money sex wealth creativity all the same thing it's different colors of this rainbow of energy that is in your womb and your womb is also your home it is the place where you feel like you belong um, and so we're going to at the retreat and today right now we're going to anchor all of this awareness and all of this experience in your womb so as you're breathing you're still breathing feel the energy build in your womb and you might visualize a light glowing a little flame a fire a star inside and you may sense movement a vibration a pulse a buzz a little thrill moving up I just felt something in my shoulders and you may feel warmth so how many of your senses can you activate with this womb energy that is building with every breath and then find your own pace of breathing and spaciousness and settling in and take a moment to do a body scan and notice oh your hands are still on your womb oh goodness hi oh, yawn that means you are shifting you are realigning your energy so breathe in and release wherever you feel the tension And for this next part, you might get a memory, an incident, a story, or it could be something like a list of words, or feelings, or emotions, or sensations. So get your journal and get ready to take some notes on yourself. Capture these. Either let it flow off your pen, like you're going to tell a big story, or maybe you're just making little lists or even doodles, you know, capturing what is happening with you okay so empty when I say money what comes up money 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 Feel it and take some notes. Jot down first thought, best thought. You can always come back if you're remembering a story and you feel like you want to dig in. And that is your next invitation drill into this memory story feeling or list and notice what's happening in your body where is the sensation located what does it feel like does it feel good does it feel bad and any variation of good or bad or maybe you feel numb maybe you come up against a wall that's valid too if that's what you've got that's important information do you have a conflict between the story and the feeling that can happen and that can be confusing and you might have been walking with this for all of your life and wondering why your experience of money doesn't make any sense. Good time to find out. And 
as you notice what's going on in your body, believe your body. Take a breath. Oh, feel what's going on in your body. I'm feeling a lot of energy coming up around my throat. Maybe it's because I'm teaching and talking about it. But the energy of my own personal experience with the being of money is amplifying and coming through my throat and my voice and my sensations around my shoulders. Mm, it's kind of tingly and chilled and kind of exciting. And I wonder what's going on. I don't quite understand it all. So take my example and just feel what you feel. And you can keep taking notes as new things come up. And believe your body, especially if your mind is thinking one thing, or you've got a should, or you've got an old belief or pattern running, and yet your body is telling you something else. And that's really interesting, too, because I did tons of mindset work for 20 years, abundance work, Abraham Hicks work, you name it. I have lots of ideas up here. My body has finally been talking to me about what is really going on. And it's such a relief because it's not a match. It's not a match. And I have to make it, I have to bring it into alignment. This is the work. <sighs> Notice if there's a feedback loop. What images, memories, sounds, or other feelings come up as you stay with this sensation? And if anything, it, you want to share anything in the comments, feel free to go scroll down and put something in the comments. And here's where you can click the pause button if you're listening to the replay or a recording on YouTube. And you can take as much time as you need with this part. But for now, let's keep going. And remember, don't get lost if you do hit pause because you want to come back and work with what is coming up. This is information grist for your mill. And now... Soften your focus. Close your eyes if you want to, but you can just kind of bring your focus inward. And you've got all this stuff happening in your mind and in your body and in your feelings. And see if you can perceive the form of the being of money. If you were to imagine the being of money, say, walking towards you from a mist or coming up and sitting down on the sofa beside you or whatever, wherever you feel it. Maybe he's coming out of you and kind of looking at you as if in a mirror. Just let your imagination introduce you to the being of money. And so look at, look at this energy. If money were a person, a creature, an animal, an angel, what would it look like? How does the person of money appear to you? And once you've got what you've got for the moment, start a dialogue. Ask money what this sensation or memory is telling you. Write your question down. This, is, this dialogue can happen in your journal doesn't have to, but 
it can. Write your question down and listen for money's answer and then write that down. Do this a few times until you come to a stopping place. So you are scribing this dialogue with money. And be sure to ask money for suggestions about how to shift the physical experience from feeling bad to feeling good, from tension to relaxation, from discomfort and distress to pleasure and ease. Money knows how to do that for you. So just take a moment and again you can hit pause if you're on the recording. And just have a little exchange with money. And see if this matches your experience, your feeling about this being that is before you, with you. Money is an energy that wants to be part of your life. Money is a responsive, fast-acting, lovable, and dependable divine energy. And money in your hands is truly a divine gift. Think about it, especially if you sometimes buy into the idea that money is evil or that people use money in evil ways and that money should change. Imagine money in your hands. Would money in your hands be good or would it be bad? I think if there's only one answer to that question. Now at this point, you can evaluate what you've received. Did you receive something really supportive and good um, and that feels good that you want to keep? If so, I'm going to close in a moment by showing you how to take this in and to truly receive it. If you receive something that did not feel good uh, or supportive or you just couldn't get into it, there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with you. You can still journal. You can ask to understand what you got or didn't get. You can ask, do I need to try again when I'm feeling more aligned and more attuned and have a different energy? Or do I need a completely different exercise? I just want you to know that at the retreat, the Abundant Womb Retreat, there is a lot of embodiment work we will be working with. And we may not use this exercise at all as we will be co-creating with the energy of the, and the beings of money of the people who are attending. One thing we will do is go deep into womb healing and womb activation because everything we do will radiate from your womb temple. We'll go through some imaginative processes to get clear on where money hurts where it's not working, where it's dysfunctional, where you're holding on to that dysfunctional relationship. And then we'll play with ways to move and breathe that will open up and release and allow receiving. You know, I teach that or money is orgasmic energy in measurable packets. So we are going to work with pleasure and energy and begin to associate feeling really good with money. How's that? So we're, um, oh, and Friday night, we start Friday the 29th 
of April and that is the beginning of the new moon window which happens on Saturday afternoon at 4 27 p.m. Eastern or something like that 428 um, so Friday evening we're going to have a special evening session that is a new moon abundance ritual because we're going to work with the uh, energy of the new moon solar eclipse yay wow how powerful is that and a gorgeous exact conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in Pisces so um, yeah we will be doing that together and that will be very potent and then on Saturday we're going to take what we've begun to learn and apply it to a very specific money situation or money trigger that you're working with that you choose and we will I, you know I will support you in choosing the one that in, in such a way that you can be successful in working with it so um, that's what we're going to do we're going to embody the being of money the experience of money and shift out of the ways that money is dysfunctional and triggering to you and we're going to dance so send me uh, if, when you sign up I think I've I don't, I'm not sure if I put it in um, send me your money songs you can do that anyway um, so there is a link to the website where you can learn more and enroll and I'm going to also put it in the comments so the link is in the description of this video um, so you can find that and you can always just shoot me a message and I'll send it to you we can talk um, so now we need to complete what we've started here right now you are a buzz with your invitation your um, introduction to the being of money and let's take what you received in that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and seal it like a seed in your womb space so um, once again come soften your gaze inward close your eyes if that feels good just um, become aware of being inside of yourself and you can hold your hands like this and imagine that you're holding a bowl and you can see um, maybe you want you get a sense that this bowl is full of energy it's full of the things that money has shared with you and you might even see money dropping little nuggets or dollar bit or you know bills or coins in your bowl however whatever happens happens it's this is your imagination and so feel all of that feel that energy feel it tingling and notice all the different ways it can show up sound vibration color movement swirling flowers and kittens <laughs> what what is money offering you and then as you tune into that notice where where did you notice that your energy is stuck around money where in your body is it feeling dark or congested or in pain and it might be more than one place but notice where that is and as soon as you've got it take one hand and dip into that bowl and put just gently take some of this money medicine that money has given you and lovingly rub it into that space and see whatever that is you know as darkness or stuckness or something that's congealed or tangled see it dissolving and unraveling 
and then take in a breath and blow it out with a pow like this. And send that breath to that spot. And then check and see if it's okay. Is it is it is it clear? If it's not, do it again. Hmm. And breathe in light. If there's another spot, tend to that spot. Yeah. And then when you've done that, bring your attention back to this money love that's in your bowl. Mm, thank money. Thank the being of money for coming to you and sharing some awareness with you. And know that you can call money back and go deeper get another layer. There's always more. And then bring this bowl of good money medicine and press it into your womb and let it flow through your skin and the layers of your body into your sacred temple womb space. And breathe into that space and maybe let it swirl around. Oh, and send all of your energy into your womb where you will walk with this money love medicine. And you will let it bear fruit, grow roots and branches and flowers and fruits and it will call you to come and work with it again when, when it's time to think about money, to balance the checkbook or um, have some sales or raise your rates or have a conversation with someone. Whatever is coming up that would usually uh, send you you have this resource of money love inside of you now. When that feels complete, bring your attention out, back into the space, into your body, give yourself a hug. And yes, that is a taste of the kind of embodiment experience and imaginative experience that we will have as you cultivate, create, a loving, tender, adoring, abundant, faithful relationship with money. At the Abundant Womb Retreat, create your love affair with money. So I hope that you will join me. There is room for four women. We are a small, very intimate, very focused, curated group, people who are willing and ready to go in and it's also an incredible rate. Um, when you go to the web page you will see the pricing and the payment plans and it is um, extraordinarily priced. So go and take a look and I hope to see you next week. If you want to just message me and say I'm interested send me the link I'll be happy to do that. So much love to you. Thank you for joining me. And go have sweet dreams with your being of money, your money lover. Good night.